Now let's see how to transfer the material from the sender to receiver system using IDOC. So till the last step, we done with the configuration part of partner profile, starting from like creating and assigning of logical system. As the first four, first four parts for just overview, and we done actual config from the ECMR5 that is the logical system, and we done the config till the partner profile and the partner profile you also seen what is the use of this inbound process code that is WE42 outbound process code we don't require at this time so for transferring a basic material mat mass material uh, master using the as type mat mass the config to the partner profile is sufficient now let's see how to transfer the material master from sender to receiver system for that the steps we need to follow are as follows first we'll create the material master in the sender system with the T code MM01. Once it is created, we need to transfer to the outbound program that is BD10. Then we'll check the IDOC details in the sender system with the T code WE02. After that, the same we need to monitor in the receiver system with the T code WE02 and we'll check whether the material which is transferred from the sender system is credit or not in the receiver system with the code mm02 or mm03 so let's log into our sap system this client 700 so here first i will create the material that is mm01 the t code mm01 here checking industry sector as a and material type i'm going with the ROH. I am selecting only basic data one. Test of material ad hoc and the base unit of unit here. I am going with the FT2. I am entering only two fields, the text and the base unit of measure. You are about to exit. You want to save? Yes. So the metal ID 535 is created. So before transferring to the IDOC program, first check whether in the receiver system that metal code exists or not. Go to MM03, enter the metal ID as 535. So we can see the metal 535 does not exist or activated. This is the center uh, receiver system that is client 500. Go back to center system that is client 700. This time enter T code BT10. BT10 is the T code which is used for transferring the metal master from the sender to receiver system. Here I am entering the metal ID as 535. My message type is MATMAS. And the sender system which we have created, the logical system that is D500 RECV. Click on execute. So here we can see one master ad hoc setup is done. There is one master ad hoc setup. If you press enter, we can see one communication ad hoc is generated. So what is this master ad hoc and the communication ad hoc? Till now, we are testing a straightforward way. And after, once we implement any filter option, take an example, in the receiver side, we are in the center side, we have created 10 material and we have add some filtering condition. So in the filter system is removing the four records. So in that case, in the master record, there will be six record, uh, 10 records. And in the communication system will be transferred only the after filter value that may be four or six. That we'll see when we implement the filter criteria. Just press enter. This means that the ad hoc is generated. Now next, we have to check in WE02. In the center system, go to WE02, ad hoc list. Here we can see the all the list of ad hoc which are generated. We can enter the selection criteria as per our requirement. Click on execute. So here in the outbound ad hoc, let me open this one. That is the ad hoc number 401. Do I click here? Expand this. First, let me check the metal code which is transfer. Here, 
the material ID is 535, the same material which we have created just now. So here on the left hand side, we can see the IDOC control record, data record and the status record. In the control record, we can see the administrative level information that is what is the message type, the partner details that is the port number and the receiver, receiver details as well as the center details technical info, address and details. Those all we can see in the control record. In the data record we can see all the segments which are there in that ad hoc type. Like first one is the E1 Mara M. So you can see all the fees of E1 Mara M and here as the material ID is 535 and some default fields based on the system settings like the material type which we have selected and we have entered the FT2. The developer and the date comes automatically. So we can see all the segments which are there. Like the material text is also there. And here are the status code. Status codes first we can see the 01 is ad hoc generated. And the important 03, 03 may success. Once it is successfully transferred, we can see the green icon here. Else it will be red with a different status code. As we don't have any filter or any conversion rule, so we can see here there is no filters, no conversion rule. So this all we have seen till now in the center system that is client 700. So from here the IDOC is transferred. Now let's log into the receiver system. In the receiver system, first go to the WE02, to the state, execute. So here we can see two IDOCs are there uh, two days created. So I'm checking first the 4007. Expanded data records. Expanded segment. Click on E1 Mara M. So here you can see the material ID is 535. Now this is a receiver system. So in the receiver system, the status number range is different. We can compare with the central system here. In the center, in the center system, we have 01, 30, and 03. Whereas in the receiver side, we have starting from 50 and adding 53 that is current status is success because it is in green the icon is green here also same we can see different control records data records and the status records now let's check whether this material is created or not in the mm02 or mm 3 t code the receiver system that is going 500 go to mm02 enter 535 press enter basic data 1 yes so here you can see the data is successfully transferred from the center to receiver system based on the details which we have entered from the center side so in this way after doing all the basic config in the center in the receiver system we have done with our first testing of data transfer from center to receiver and we have used the BT10T code for the transfer of metal master. So in this way, we done with this session.